Hey everybody, Monty Eggers from MontyEggers.com. Wanted to shoot a real quick video for you guys who are looking for some information on how to rank your YouTube video on Google, uh, their first page. And uh, obviously you're doing some uh, marketing online, you're trying to get that ranking on, first, uh, on the first page. And the easiest way to do it, and the quickest way to do it, is uh, YouTube videos. Because why? Google owns YouTube, so pretty easy. They're gonna favor themselves. So let's just kind of dive in real quick. Um, as you can see, I am on the Keyword Planner uh, page. If you don't know what that is, uh, get over to Google, uh, create an account on Google, they're free, and uh, just simply go into their Tools section and you'll see where it says Google uh, AdWords. It's called, uh, the tool is called Keyword Planner. So if you know some of this, this might be old hat for you, but for those who um, are, uh, this might be new, just kind of hang in there with me. So. Grab some uh, paper and pencil and uh, take some notes as I go along here. And if you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment below after this uh, video presentation. All right, so what I'm going to do here is just go down to the button where it says search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. And um, I did a video this morning on uh, one of my YouTube channels. I got uh, two of them going. Uh, one for my regular marketing that I do online and one for uh, another uh, product, not really a product, but another uh, niche, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm, I'm big into cast iron cookware, kind of my thing. It might, be seen, uh, might seem kind of quirky, but it's just a passion of mine. So I started a YouTube channel back in November or December, and I've been utilizing the things that I've learned um, from other people. Uh, how to rank my uh, videos on YouTube and Google's first page. So, I'll just give you a quick example. Um, I'm going to go over to my YouTube channel. It's uh, so this keyword right here: uh, how to hang cast iron cookware. Kind of a uh, long tail keyword. So I, because uh, something that I wanted to learn how to do is obviously hang my cast iron cookware, and so um, I, I found a way. To do it, um, found a way to hang it on the wall, went to Pinterest and re did some research, came across some really cool ideas, and so I uh, developed my own little um, uh, hanging board, I guess you could say, using old pallet, old pallets, the wood from old pallets, and I stripped them down and sanded them and, and whatnot. So in this video, I quickly gave a, uh, uh, I guess, a description of, of what I did and um, shot it, it's four minutes long, kind of straight to the point. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I kind of went about finding that keyword. So let's go back over to Keyword Planner. So we'll go to, and we're just gonna type it in, how to hang cast iron cookware. So that's gonna be, um, where it says search for new keywords. We're gonna just go down here uh, click on get ideas and it gives you kind of uh, two areas um, it'll sometimes it pulls up this one right away where it says ad group ideas well I don't want to run an ad because I want to get the free traffic and it kind of shows you how much you know the competition how high the competition is how much they pay for uh, uh, an ad like I said we're not doing that so I just want to go over to the keyword ideas now it's not a really strong keyword as you can see here it says how to hang cast iron there's like kind of zero monthly uh, zero monthly searches but I kind of wanted to show you how fast you can get uh, your video on YouTube and uh, eventually Google uh, quicker and that's by doing this so I kind of you know got myself some other ideas and they'll, um, they'll kind of show you what other people are, are searching for and um, this is just for example. So I got my keyword, and what I did is, uh, hopefully you can see this, I just got on my iPhone 6 Plus, recorded my video, used the uh, software on my iPhone 6 Plus to, uh, I did three separate videos, brought them all together with some simple editing, and um, I uploaded it from my phone uh, onto YouTube and let's uh, once it started uploading it I went in and I did some editing and so what you want to do here 
is put your keywords as the title. I know, I know it might sound simple enough, but you want to have your keyword first right away. Um, and then next you'll go down to the uh, description area. And I just gave it a quick brief description. I did write a blog post uh, the other day about uh, the step-by-step -step process that uh, how I did it, you know, in description. Took the website or, you know, my website address, put that uh, as the first sentence in the uh, description box then I just typed in some content basically um, you want to put the keyword in there a few times you don't want to overstuff it um, because that'll kind of get your your uh, videos ranked lower Google will kind of slap you on the wrist a little bit for that so I've heard that um, percentage of keywords about uh, one to two percent somewhere in that range I don't know how many words I got here exactly I just kind of like I said gave a step-by-step -step process and then once I briefly described what I did I said you can go check out the step-by-step -step process on my blog at www and there's my URL and I did give them a call to action too uh, which is hey thanks for watching leave a comment below and hit that su uh, subscribe button so I, I kind of want you know to uh, build my this YouTube channel up, and um, so like I said, don't overstuff the keyword in the description box, and then you'll come down here to some of the uh, I guess tag the tag box I guess would be. So I'll go back up to Google, and this is kind of how I do it. Let me grab this first. So I'll, I'll grab this. How to hang cast iron cookware? Copy that. Go back over to Google. Slap that in there. And what I do, I come down here, and it kind of gives me some ideas, kind of sometimes. Um, cast iron cookware care would be a good one. Um, kind of, but not really. Sometimes it will give you better information. And uh, let's see. Let's go back over here. Uh, let's see. So it's just I start doing this sometimes too. How to hang cast iron pans? It'll give you some. It'll give you some uh, keywords. So I think I believe I put that in there. How to hang cast iron pots? So it's you know it's close, but not the exact same keywords. So um, hopefully, if somebody types this in, my video should come up uh, on Google and with their closely related keyword. So I'm going to pick this one here. Like I said, I just I uploaded it like I don't know seven hours ago or something like that. So it's not on the first page yet. Sometimes I'll check the second page, and it might take it might take two to three days to for Google to start uh, grabbing that stuff because they send out their search spiders. Uh, I don't know how often, to be honest with you. Um, but once that new information is out there, the spiders will start climbing. You know, crawling, so to speak, the websites out there, and see, hey, this this uh, this thing is what this uh, keyword is. So we're gonna start you know, ranking it. But uh, we can check it over here by going to videos and see what's going on. And look at there, uh, third uh, result on the videos. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, eight hours ago. So that's not too bad. So we can even go over to YouTube here. So let me sign out, and maybe this will kind of help you too. So I'm going to sign out of YouTube. i got to sign out of the Keyword Planner here. And I'm going to go back to YouTube, and I'm going to slap that keyword back in there, How to Hang Cast Iron Cookware. And I learned this uh, the other day too from somebody. So How to Hang Cast Iron Cookware, 6,650 results. There's, there's my video right there. So what you can do to narrow it down even more, put some um, parentheses around that keyword, click it again, and it even narrows it down more. Mine's the only one. These here are paid ads. And um, so that's just one way to kind of narrow down your target market. You know, this is just an example for this keyword. And uh, 
So, like I said, give it uh, maybe two to three days. Google will start ranking it, hopefully, which, which they should because, like I said, Google owns YouTube, and um, your videos should start uh, showing up on the first page if your, uh, your SEO, your search engine optimization, is done correctly. So, like I said, that is go uh, back over. We're going to sign it back over here. That's all my accounts I have there. I was kind of show you my channel here. This is uh, this channel. It is I, I do call myself the cast iron marketer because I am driving traffic um, to my blog, which has my Amazon affiliates uh, links on there as well for uh, uh, Lodge cast iron products. So go to video manager, and this some of the videos I uploaded recently within the last five or six months. And what one that was really uh, just this is uh, just a side note here. One that really has been taken off for some reason was this guy right here. Best spatula for cast iron. What not to use? This thing right here was sitting at like I don't know under a hundred views for the longest time. Then once it started getting, um, um, I guess, ranked on YouTube, or not on YouTube, but on Google, it just kind of blew up. You know, people like 10 to 15 views a day, you know. And, uh, yeah, I got some haters, but, hey, it's going to happen. Everybody's going to be trolling your stuff. It's a fact of life. Got a couple of nice comments on it from a couple of people who really liked it, said, hey, keep it up. Uh, this is what I do. It's all about, you know, um, Social media, it is about sharing ideas. And um, another one is Nephla Soup. I'm, I'm a North Dakota guy from uh, at heart. It's where I grew up. And Nephla Soup is a, uh, a famous soup back there. So I, I did a video about it. And I, it's this has been kind of creeping up there too. So it's just kind of, you know, it's it, it really is hit or miss. You have to do so many videos. Not all of them are going to rank. I'll be blunt honest with you. This one here did pretty good, you know, how to get a, rest, a perfect restaurant steak. It was doing good, and then it just kind of died out for some reason. So either I need to go back in there and kind of tweak a few things or, um, you know, maybe try to uh, push it more, share share the content again, get it back out there so people can see it, and it's all about that. Once you do have your YouTube video published, the best thing you can do is start sharing it. If you have an email list, if uh, you're uh, on Facebook, obviously share it on there. If it's relevant to what you're trying to, you know, teach, if you're uh, marketing in certain groups, and uh, if you have a fan page, share it on your fan page. Share it on your personal page too, I guess. And just to get some views going, if you have a blog, um, embed your uh, link on your blog if you know how to do that stuff, just so it can get more backlinks. Basically, is what you're looking for. And it's uh, it'll it'll like I said they'll start taking off once uh, you get some momentum going. It'll you'll just be like wow that's kind of cool, and that's what's exactly been happening with this uh, video right down here. So again, Montagers from Montagers.com. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below. And if you didn't enjoy this video, please leave a comment below and tell me what I can do better. And um, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll leave a link for my blog at Montagers.com. I got some other great uh, marketing resources out there. And uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.